Hey everybody, so this week in art we're going to learn about Keith Haring, which is a really awesome artist. So I'm going to start off by playing you an animation of one of his artworks. The figures in his art are always moving, dancing, they're always in action. This animation was actually made by a student, by a high school student. So we're not going to be animating our Keith Haring um, artwork, but we're going to try our best to draw one. Okay, so as we just saw, um, Keith Haring's artwork um, are based on figures always moving, always doing something fun um, together. Here's another example of his artwork. It's two people holding up a giant heart. Um, what do you think he meant? Um, how, how do you think that he wanted you to feel when you saw this artwork? Same thing with over here. We have, see some dancing dogs. So we see some crawling babies, two people holding up a heart. We see a lot of lines around his shapes, right? The shapes kind of make the, the, um, the heart look like it's glowing or illuminating. And these little lines, we call those movement lines, are around the figures, which kind of give it a look like they're moving around. Okay, so we're gonna see movement lines in almost all of his pictures. So I'm gonna give you a little bit of background information about Keith. Um, his artwork became popular from his chalk drawings in New York City subway stations. Have you guys ever seen artwork in uh, New York City subway stations when you ride the subway? This is a picture of Keith right here. This was in the 1980s. So he's writing, Happy Valentine, New York, and he's drawing a figure with a heart head holding a glowing heart, right? So his artwork was always positive and trying to express a positive message. Um, so he drew figures in action, like I just talked about, expressive hearts, babies, flying saucers, and dancing dogs. Keith Haring believed that art shouldn't just belong in fancy museums or for rich people to be able to buy. He believed that art should be free out in public for everyone to enjoy. And who agrees with that? Yep, I do too. So Keith Haring thought his art could help a community by making it feel colorful and alive. His unique images share a happy, encouraging message to all. So Keith Haring, his artwork um, was a, the kind of artwork um, referred to as pop art. So here is a, um, one of his pictures. Um, what does it look like to you? To me, it looks like um, uh, maybe a mother or um, a guardian or a grown-up holding a little baby, right? And these lines here kind of give it the look like um, the figure is glowing or the figure is is in love or happy, right? So pop art is a style of art based on simple, bold images, okay? So this image is pretty simple, right? There's not too many small details. Pop art um, can be soup cans, um, everyday items that you see around your house. Um, and pop art is almost always done in bright colors. All right, let's take a side-by-side -side look here. Which one of these do you think is an example of pop art? Hmm. The Mona Lisa or these simple soup cans in bright colors? If you guessed this one, you are correct, my friend. Okay, so um, after you are finished with your drawing assignment, which is in the other video, um, you feel free to go to either of these links. Um, this is an awesome art history link for kids um, if you want to learn more about Keith Haring. 
And this is an amazing book called The Boy Who Just Kept Drawing. All right, so I cannot wait to see what you guys create. Um, thank you so much, and please watch the video. Um, feel free to pause it and re-watch certain steps. Uh, please do your best because we're going to include this in our um, holiday art show, okay? And please reach out if you have any questions. Thank you.